Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a new revision of a keyboard that many of us probably already have one of. Um, this is the CIY Gas 67, which, I mean, it's still popular, but I think the GMK 67 right now is the one that's big in the spotlight, especially with the new colors that came out. But as soon as I saw that there was a wireless version of the Gas 67, I reached out to Keep Monkey because I knew that they were going to be carrying it, and they said, they said, "Yeah, we'll go ahead and send you one out." when it comes out and I just received it so I wanted to do a quick review and comparison with the original um, CIY because I know um, the other one this, this one uh, comes in a kit where you have to build um, this one I actually did the build live I believe it's in in my archive of, of uh, videos but <clears throat> the new one comes pre-built so today we're going to be taking a look at the CIY Gas 67 wireless 3 mode. All right. So just like with uh, the other one, we have looks like the same cable. Uh, it's a cable that matches the color of the case in this in this case we have the um, the green case. I believe yeah, the green is the same. Uh, we have a manual which also has product warranty. And here we are with the uh, CIY Gas 67 wireless 3 mode. So the changes that we can see from what I heard this now acts as an on and off switch though I don't see it coming on so maybe it's not unless the battery's not charged. Um, let's do side by side comparisons because here we see the CIY strip. Ah we see that we actually have some foam in here. Now obviously the battery Looks like the battery's on this side, but it could have double batteries. I don't know. We'll take a look when we go. When I go to mod it, I'll open it. I don't want to open it right now because I know these these screws are going into screws. Yeah, they didn't they didn't update that. That would have been nice had they put some metal inserts for the screws to go into. But so they did make this badge shorter. Um, a spot for the 2.4 feels like it's under a magnet yep there's a magnet right there and we've got a white uh, 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle uh, the rest of the body seems seems the same although in the interior obviously we've got that which we didn't have any sort of case foam uh, before we do have the rubber or the um, I don't know what kind of material, but it is a like a silicone gasket <clears throat> between the plate and the PCB like we do here. But this one does not have um, a foam. Yeah, with this kit, it came with a, I believe, IPXC foam that kind of mutes it. I was going to replace it when I modded it. I just haven't gotten around to mod it. So, and we even have the uh, screw-in stabilizers. And they, they are, um, they're already pre-lubricated. So, yeah, the one thing that I can, the only thing I can say I, I, I wish they would have done that they didn't do are the inserts. Had they added the inserts, I think that would have made a big difference. So, um, because then we could unscrew it, un unscrew it, unscrew it as many times as we want. So, um, oh, there we go. I wasn't hitting the switch the entire way. So, oh. That looks nice. I gotta say. Now it's funny because this one isn't wireless, but it does appear to have what I've seen before to be um, a 2.4 gigahertz antenna. So I'm gonna be curious to take a look. But now. I'm curious to how this sounds because it doesn't have this mat, so I don't think it will be as as dampened or as muted as that one is. 
So under the Team Wolf name, even though it said CIY on the sticker, it is the LM67 mo model. Looks like it only requires 3 volt, 250 milliamps. That's lower. I thought it's usually 5 volts, 500 milliamps. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the CIY Gas 67 Wireless Edition. It's also known as the Team Wolf LM67. It has both 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth 5 connectivity with only one Bluetooth device slot. It is a gasket mount 65% 3 mode that includes screw-in stabilizers and north-facing LEDs. It is currently retailing for $67 from KeepMonkey.com. It includes a 2000 mAh battery and comes weighing in at 448 grams stock. The chin of this keyboard sits at 22 millimeters above the typing surface and the back sits at 27 millimeters providing a default typing angle of 4 degrees. Using the single pair of feet included, you will raise the back up to 36 millimeters providing you with a 9 degree typing angle. This keyboard does include a decent coiled and nylon braided USB cable. So today I'm going to go ahead and give a set of switches that I, I don't know, they just got pushed to the back of my collection. I kind of forgot about them. They're uh, um, one of only two KTT tactiles that I have. These are the KTT matches. Um, they're a decent tactile, nothing, nothing amazing. Medium weight, maybe 45 grams, and a nice uh, debump. So, uh, they don't sound half bad stock. And I thought, matcha, green, hey, why not? So, I'm gonna go ahead and load up these switches, and then we'll figure out what we'll do for keycaps. Alright, got the switches loaded up now. I got an odd selection of colors. It might look good, it might look awful, but hey, it, it's worth a shot, right? Um, it's a keycap set I've had sitting around for a minute. It's one of the few remaining ones I have that haven't been moved to a Kitco container yet. Taro. It could look good, it could look funky, but. I say why not. So I'm going to go ahead and load up both keys. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the keycaps loaded. Now, you may notice that the space bar is a different color. Um, this is a, a die subset, and the space bar on it is bowed pretty bad. Now, I can usually fix it, but it's a whole process. I usually heat up water and dip it in bend it, dip it in, bend it, until it, it usually will at least get to a point to where it's usable. But um, that one was too, too bowed, so I am using a ghost bar on here, so it's a bit of a cheat. Uh, the stabilizers, uh, they are screwing, but they're a little too over lubed, but that's easily fixed by going in there and just uh, re-lubing them, cleaning them up and re-lubing them. So, but... I mean, it's still a little muted, but not as muted, and I think that's due to the, the exclusion of that pad, um, but I still think that it has a lot of potential. I've kept pushing modding the, the original Gas 67, but I, I, I'm going to plan to do, and I'll probably just do both at the same time and do slightly different mods on either one so I can see the difference and see which, you know, what works best. But, I mean, it's, um, it's $67 on Keep Monkey. 
Um, I know when, I want to say when it first came out, just the wired version was, was it $60? It might have been 50 when it first, first came out. Then for a while, it was like in the $60 range. So, um, it, you know, if wireless is your thing, um, it is a kit that's already been built. So, you know, that's another thing. If you don't want to build a kit, some people would rather just take it out. Now, um, the stabilizers aren't horrible. Like, I couldn't live with them, but I'm going to definitely be cleaning them out when I open it up. Um, that's the only, only thing. I mean, they're screwing stabilizers. It kind of just wish they'd do a better job with them or let me install them. But otherwise, I actually kind of like uh, how the tar tarot colorway looks on the screen. I gotta be um, honest with you. Um, and we've got the RGB. The RGB is pretty good. With the, with the PC plate, it really helps it um, diffuse and look really nice. Um, it's basically the uh, the gas 67 just has a battery, and um, and it's missing that that sheet. So. I, I dig it. I, I really dig it. Now they do have it in the colors the original gas came in. The uh, purple transparent and the black transparent. Although the black is pretty pretty opaque. Um, and of course the green. Um, it's kind of like a forest green. So the original one that I have here. This is still stock. This has got Akko um, starfish in them. And this is the new Gas 67 stock as well. Tactiles may really make a difference. So starfish are linear. Yeah. Tactiles make a difference. But I think this one's going to sound pretty good for the sound test. They actually weigh very similar. So, yeah, because it has a uh, 2,000 milliamp hour battery. I don't use wireless all that much, but 2,000, mm, it's on the verge of, I mean, I would, I would say minimum 2,500, 3,000 milliamp hour battery, but that's just me. Um, anyway, I mean, it's, like I said, it's extremely similar. Uh, they're basically the same keyboard. Um, with the inclusion exclusion of the battery in that pad, and um, I'll be getting getting to modding it because I do want to do I'll do a silicone pour probably in one and like a kill mat or um, polyfill in another, and do one with the tape mod and one without or different different number of layers, one with the PE foam, one without, and kind of get a, a comparison. I appreciate Keep Monkey sending me out this unit so that I could uh, take a look at it and review it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test of the CIY Gas 67 3 mode wireless. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.